it's really simple. It's to, to successfully transition women back to the community from incarceration. I'm Sister Maureen O'Connell. Um, I'm a Dominican sister of Adrian, Michigan, uh, and have um, I was the founder of Angela House back in 2001. And the people of the parish wanted to do something around um, social justice and, and community work. So my initial thought was that we could be a mentoring program. And what I realized early on is that these women didn't need a mentoring program. What they really needed was a safe place to live. I grew up in a family that was, there's nothing but drugs going on, like selling, doing, just, it was pretty rough. I quit school when I was 15 and I started smoking crack. When I turned 21, I went straight from smoking crack to shooting dope. Just Good. being arrested for the first time was pretty crazy. My thoughts about Angela House, the first time I heard about it, I, I was thinking it was gonna be a great opportunity because I had just did seven years and I am ready, you know. While I was in there, I decided I want something better out of life because uh, just sitting in there and looking out at my family, they have nothing, it's horrible. Like they just, I don't know, I just don't wanna go back to that life, I thought. And then when I heard about Angela House, I thought, yeah, this could help me out. In 2019, I caught a case. I was just going through some stuff and I went and purchased some stuff and I tried to go out to the strip club and make some extra money and I was not thinking, and I um, slipped up and gave the security guard my purse to check, you know, for weapons or whatever, and I forgot that was in there. And it was just, I think it was just God just let me know that, you know, this was the wrong thing for me to do. So I didn't try to fight it or nothing. I went to jail, and... Here I am four years later, or five years later, I should say, at Angela's house. I um, heard about Angela's house inside the prisons. I tried so many times to get clean and sober. I just kept bumping my head, you know, not wanting to deal with life or whatever, and not having a support group or nobody to talk to or get my feelings out because I was taught to, you know, to be quiet about everything. And, you know, I kept a lot of that stuff inside for a long time. And I, when I finally started learning how to talk about things instead of going in and using, I just, like, hurt myself. In my early 30s, I know, um, I went through a bad divorce and custody battle, and I just got with the wrong person who introduced me to methamphetamines. I ended up getting called. Um, I was coaching gymnastics during the daytime, and to support my habit, I was selling drugs at night. And eventually it called up to me, and I got pulled over by the K-9 unit. And of course they searched our vehicle and I caught my first charge, which was a manufacturing and delivering four to 200 gram charge, which is a pretty big charge. Angela House has shown me something different and what I don't want to go back to. Before Angela House, my life was chaos. I lived in the streets um, from motel to motel, if a motel and I was on drugs, alcohol. I'd been to prison, well, state jail, eight times, and something had to give, and I finally surrendered because my life was terrible. I lost everything I loved. I kept coming back to Angela House because this was my security blanket. Like, I knew that I was safe here, and plus, I could get I guess you would say the compassion that I needed um, because my family lives in another city. They're not really close and Angela House is my family. Angela House is a lot more structured than a halfway house. We have classes that we offer. The women are required to attend three outside recovery meetings a week, have a sponsor. They're required to see me, the therapist, in individual therapy. Just the number of classes that they need to attend while they're here. There are substance abuse classes, 
yoga classes, Bible study classes, collage classes. Um, there's a lot that they need to work out. We also um, just started Bridges to Life here in our program, and we've been having someone come in to do the MRT, which is the substance abuse class, and that will continue also. Being at Angela House is a big change for me. Um, it's the change that I was looking for. It's the support that I was looking for. Never been in a recovery program before, but um, it's something that I feel that is necessary for me to stay clean and sober. And the classes are great, the volunteers are great, the staff here is great, the support system is humongous, it's great. It's just so much love and that's what I need. That's what I need to continue on this road to success in my recovery. Angela House provides therapy and we have a case manager. They help us to, you know, get back on our feet learn how to live, how to handle money, how to save. My favorite part about Angela's house is definitely all the girls here. All the support that we get here with each other. We definitely lean on each other for support and it's definitely reassuring knowing that you're not alone. The staff here at Angela House is amazing and super supportive of us and definitely it seems like they're overbearing at times but I know it's for our sake, and I honestly haven't had anyone who cared that much in a long time. Just for anybody who doesn't know about Angela House, Angela House is a rewarding place for, for ladies to come, get the compassion that they need, and trauma-informed therapy because when we come from the backgrounds that we come from, we've been through bad, good, and ugly, and we don't know how to escape that. And with the structure here, it happens. Well, if I've never heard about Angela House, I probably would be back on the street because I wouldn't have anywhere to go. And it, I'd either be on the streets or in jail, I'm sure. Angela House has been the best thing in my life. My favorite part about being here at Angela House is working with the women who are here. It's, it's a blessing and a gift, again, to see people, the women here, grow and change. It's, it's amazing. And it, you, know, it, you can't do this and not, I mean, it touches your heart, which then gives you know, for me, it's kind of selfish because then it gives me a sense of purpose. Like, oh, you know, this is really important work that we're trying to do here at Angela House.